Hello, my name's Adrian, and today I thought we'd take a look at Styled Components. It's a library that lets you do CSS in JavaScript, and as scary as that might sound, it's actually pretty awesome, especially when you move between ecosystems like React and React Native. React Native just doesn't have that support for CSS, but Styled Components get you a little bit closer there so that you can use that same sort of syntax. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit like, and let's just jump right into it. So what's the reason people use Styled Components? Well, originally when you had React, you used to pass your styling as props. You'd have a style sheet manager you could bring in from React, even in React Native, but it would be annoying to pass them in or define them separately. Because they're defined in JavaScript, you can't even use the same syntax. Styled components came along and they tried to make it very similar to how you use CSS. And yes, you could import CSS or even SAS back into React, but you couldn't for React Native. Styled components allowed you to essentially define all those styles within the same component. You wouldn't have to pass them as a prop and you could dynamically update them. Dark mode is very easy to implement. Theming is also possible. And on top of that, it's server side ready, it's TypeScript enabled. And if you have third party libraries, you can slowly move over to styled components without any effort at all. Another thing you might not know is that styled components is used by some of the largest companies. If we check down here, we can see Google, Airbnb, Reddit, GitHub, even Vimeo uses them. So it's definitely something worth checking out. We're going to install styled components into a React.js project. In there, we're gonna add some CSS in JavaScript. We're gonna pass some props to change the appearance of components. We're gonna pass some state to change the dynamic appearance of other components. We're also going to extend some styled components and also style some custom components. So if you're ready, let's just jump right into it. So we'll start by creating our project. Let's run npx create react app and call it bushfire front web there. That'll start installing all the packages we need. Great, so with that done, we can now begin. Let's open up Visual Studio and browse into the folder. We'll click open folder, go to Bushfire Front Web, and jump in there. That looks good. Now, uh, we'll start off by running yarn add styled components. Great, that'll install the package for us and we can begin. Okay, now let's open up React. We'll run yarn start and that'll open up in the browser for us. Let's make this window a little bit smaller so we can see it. Beautiful. Now, let's open up the source folder and open up app.js. In here, we've got an example of a small app with no real information really in there. We're going to import styled components by running import styled from styled-components. Let's save that. Uh, another useful thing is if you don't have it already, try installing the styled components extension from VS Code. It'll give you some syntax coloring as well as some IntelliSense, which is always useful, but just make sure that when you import styled components, you do call it styled because if you call it S or something else, it won't take effect. So let's create our first styled component. We're gonna run const a tag equals styled.a and some comments in here. Now. The way this works is you create your component name. In this case, we're calling a tag. We call styled and we do dot and the syntax is the tag that we wanna create. In here, we can put in div or p or button, but in this case, we're doing a because we wanna replace this learn react tag. In here, we'll put some CSS. We'll put color equals white. Uh, let's make the font size maybe 36. And let's see if that takes effect. We'll replace this a tag here with our new a tag. Save that, and here we can see Learn React has increased size and it's now the white color. So you might have noticed we still pass props here, and these still work. The class name is still taking effect, as well as the location for the link, so it works mostly like an A tag. But if we have a look, we can see here Styled Components is actually overriding the styling that we had earlier in CSS. So let's have a look at how we can already clean up some of the syntax down here. We've got a div with the class name app. Let's change that now. Let's create a styled component called body which can be styled.div. And currently the styling is just making the text centered. So let's do that now. So we can replace this section here for our new body component. And it applies and performs the same function, but it's a lot easier to read now. Let's do the same thing here for the A tag. Let's remove all this extra syntax. And let's call this learn react. Great, that's much more readable. 
We can also pass props to styled components to update its CSS. Let's do this now. Let's take our A tag here and let's dynamically change the color. Normally we would have white, but sometimes we can also pass a prop to overwrite this. Let's do this by calling props, doing an arrow function, calling props.color. So if that exists, we'll display props.color. Otherwise, we'll show white. Great. Let's have a look. It's white right now. Let's pass a prop called color here. And let's make this the blue color. That's taken effect just right. Sometimes you'll want a prop to update more than a single style. We can do this by importing CSS from styled components. In here, for example, we can do props arrow function props.primary. Now, if this Boolean exists, we can pass CSS and define multiple styles. Let's do this now. Let's do font size equals 48 pixels, and maybe we'll do the color to being yellow. So now, in our component, if we remove this color prop and add in primary, we'll see that multiple styles are being applied. We can also extend existing components. Let's try this out now. We'll run const learn more react, and this can equal a styled, and in parentheses, we'll pass learn react, and in here, define some style. Maybe font size 18 pixels, and color equals red. Let's pass this into our app and see how it works. This is very useful. If you want to just change a few styling elements on your page, but you don't want to rewrite the entire styled component because sometimes the UI is predefined. And if you continue adding different props and state into there, it can get a bit ugly. Another thing we can do is dynamically update styles on the go. Let's try this out now. Let's import hooks from React. We'll call use state and let's define this down here. Let's set const and we'll do primary and set primary. Let's call use state and set a boolean of false. Down here, let's remove the href and let's set this primary to a prop. We'll define an onclick handler and we'll set an arrow function that'll call set primary and call it the reverse of what it currently is. Now, if we click Learn React, we can see that the styling is updating. We can also add some animation in here. Let's call transition ease 0.25 seconds. We'll do it on everything. Let's try that out. Great, that looks good. We can do all the other stuff that you normally do in CSS, like pass a hover. Let's do this. Let's do a font size 48 pixels, an opacity of maybe 0.5. If we hover over this now, we can see that that works. We can also pass media calls in here as well. Let's pass media max width 768. And let's make the font size a little bit smaller, such as 24 pixels. Here, we can see that's taken effect. Another thing you can do is create a theme for your application. So that way you can pass your colors in as props. And then you can also change them on the fly, such as if you want to go from light mode to dark mode. Let's have a look at how to do that. Let's import theme provider from styled components. And then down here, let's create it as a component inside our body tag or outside in this case. Now we can create a theme. Let's call const theme and this will be an object. In here, let's call primary and in here, maybe we can call base color. Maybe we set this to 888. Now in the theme provider, let's pass this as a prop. Theme equals theme. Now that that's done, we can actually access this prop inside our components. Let's try this now. Here for learn react, let's have a look if we can access the color prop. We'll call props.color. And if one isn't set, we'll call props.theme.primary. Base color. Great. So now we can see that's gone gray. So this is just an introduction to styled components, but I'm sure you can already see some of the benefits, especially if you have very large UIs and you want to have consistent styling.
In the next video, we're going to look at React Native and how styled components make styling much easier due to the fact that React Native just doesn't have the same syntax. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit like, because it really lets me know what kind of content you guys like. And if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. Thanks.